This is called a backwards crawl with a drag. Um, drag. Um, so we're gonna be crawling backwards in a quadruped uh, position. Quadruped is just fancy for all fours. And uh, we'll be dragging the bell along for the ride. Um, and why are we doing that, right? Um, the crawl itself is great for mobility, great for a crossbody, uh, crossbody pattern, um, but it's also great for our abs, right? A crawl is incredible for abdominals. And then adding this pull of the bell along for the ride, it's going to just increase your heart rate, make it a little bit more metabolic, make it a little more challenging. So I'll show you what that looks like. Um, you're gonna start in your quadruped position just like you normally do for your bear crawl. We have a bell in front of you. It could be a dumbbell or a kettlebell, it doesn't matter. Um, arms are directly underneath you. You're gonna tuck the toes, lift the knees just an inch. Um, and I would say let's start close to the bell, right? So you're gonna crawl backwards, opposite hand, opposite leg, um, same time. Reach and drag that bell to the opposite knee, right? So that was my right arm to my left knee. And I'm gonna crawl backwards again, a couple more steps, drag, bell to opposite knee. Crawl a couple steps, drag, and place down. Now what you want to uh, do ideally is keep everything nice and square, right? So you're not twisting as you're dragging because that's going to want to happen. You want to resist that twist. Keep your abs braced. Keep that rib cage closed so you really feel your core working because that's what's going to stabilize your spine and keep the whole body nice and strong in that position. So that's your backward crawl drag.